Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Virgos. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. Hope all has been well, Virgos. Have you been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy as temple of yours as it takes care of you, my loves. Welcome back to the ones that are new here. Thank you all for stopping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And shout out to the Evolving Spirits. Shout out to the Soul Tribe. Thank you all so much for your unconditional love and support. I appreciate you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you so much. If you would love to become a Evolving Spirit like I myself, please click the join link down below. It gives you exclusive discounts on your personal readings, your email questions, and your love live stream questions when I go live, my loves. All right. So shout out to you all, Virgos. Thank you for your feedback. Thank you for your comments in regards to your spiritual readings and the new content that I've added here to the channel for you. Thank you for your feedback. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the last two readings. All right. Definitely, if you're new here, check out the readings here. I did one reading in regards to your spiritual path. Your spiritual journey. And the last reading I've done was what's going on in the streets about Virgos, okay? I thought that was fun. All right, just to get your popcorn ready there. So thank you again, Virgos, for your feedback and your comments down below. I appreciate you. All right, so we're going to get back to business as usual here. We're going to dive deep into your love life here, Virgos. We're going to see who's coming towards you in regards to love. Then we're going to use a tarot deck, of course, here. See what's beneath the surface here when it comes to your love life. And then, of course, we'll finish up with some spiritual advice from your guardian angels and your ancestors, okay? Guardian angels, ancestors of the highest light, please protect my space, aura, and most of all, my heart as I channel the messages here today for the God and goddesses. What do we have for the Virgo placements? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, and south node placements for Virgos. What do their higher selves need to know? What's going on in their love life? All right, Virgos, let's see what we have for you. Whoa, thank you. We have children here, okay? Your love life is being affected by children, all right? Shout out to the moms and the dads here, okay? If some of you all have kiddos here, all right? Your guardian angels and your ancestors is asking you to focus more when it comes to your kiddos here, okay? If some of you all have to process here and do co-parent together here, Things of that sort, they want you to make sure that you're finding ways to allow the situation to be balanced here when it comes between you and your spouse or your significant other here or your ex here. However, this is relating for you, okay? And if you don't, it's okay. This is definitely focused in on someone who has kiddos here. Your kids is very important here. Children is very important, okay? During this time when it comes to your love life, okay? So make sure that you can find a balance when it comes to your kiddos here, all right? And making sure that you're meeting their needs, okay? Wow, we have let your friends help you. Yeah, if some of you all are needing help when it comes to, you know, taking care of the kiddos or needing someone to look after them while you're working or things of that sort here, all right? You have people or friends here. I feel like that your guardian angels or ancestors are sending in here for you that will be able to help assist you here, okay? But you just have to ask, Virgos, okay? You have to speak up. All right, it says ask for and accept support from others, okay? So your guardian angels is definitely sending you support. If I'm speaking with a parent here that felt like they don't have enough help here when it comes to providing for their child here, all right, your guardian angels is definitely sending someone in here. This is very significant here with this coming out in your love reading here, okay? So for whoever that's for, yes, we have free yourself, Virgos. It's time to take back control of your life, all right? So some of y'all felt like you were stuck or if you were, you know, in a situation where you wasn't able to move or manifest here, okay? Your guardian angels just want you to, you know, feel like now that it's time to take back control of your life. You don't have to keep going around in circles. You can definitely free yourself from this situation here. So if you felt like you may was stuck here due to a family issue or a situation here, your guardian angels want you to remove yourself from this particular situation here or this person here. This could have been someone as well. They may have had control issues and they were trying to control the situation here, all right? Or trying to control you when it comes to the children here, okay? One more card here, Guardian Angels, when it comes to Virgo placements in their love life. Wow. 
Wow, we have passion here, okay? This is fire energy. Some of y'all, this person may be a fire sign here. We have Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries energy here. But there's definitely a situation here that I feel like is going to help you release yourself forever and wherever that you feel like you were at. You may be, again, in a relationship that you're not happy in, Virgos, or once was before. And now that you have found someone that's bringing you a lot of passion here, they're being able to understand you here. Okay, and this person I feel like is also going to be coming in to help you when it comes to your children here as well for the ones that have kids here as well. It says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, Virgos. Okay, so don't be afraid to express yourself and let this person know how you feel. Yeah, we have at the bottom of the deck here, we have give your relationship a chance, Virgos. It says, work on your partnership here. Okay, let this person know how you feel. Okay, okay. Ask this person, how do they feel? What do they see when it comes to the relationship at this time here? I feel like those questions are very important at this time. All right. So let's use the Kipper deck here. Guardian Angels Ancestors. What else when it comes to this situation or circumstance for Virgo when it comes to their love life? Definitely, my loves, if the reading is resonating so far, don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up. Show spirits some love. Again, if you're new here, my loves, welcome. Subscribe. You're part of family. This is where we love and we evolve each and every day here on this platform, I say. All right. Guardian angels, what else is going on beneath the surface here when it comes to Virgo and the love life? What can you tell me here with the Kipper deck? What do Virgo's placements need to be made aware of here, Guardian angels? Wow, thank you. That card jumped out, Virgos. Wow, yeah, we have imprisonment here. Okay, some of y'all could feel like that you're literally in jail or feel like that you're trapped. This card always reminds me of just feeling trapped in your mind. This could be an air sign as well that have you may feel like you're trapped here or, you know, just trying to keep you in a space where you can't move, you can't evolve here. This could have been this way and how you felt when it comes to this particular person in this relationship. This could have been a significant other here, an ex-spouse here. All right, but someone was keeping you trapped or keeping you feel like you was imprisonment here for quite some time. You notice how there's a gate here and then there's the bar handles here. Some of y'all, this person may be incarcerated or in jail here, okay? That's very significant for both of these cards to come out like that. It's definitely reminding me of someone being incarcerated here with the fence here being wrapped around and the bars here, okay? So someone may be feeling a little in despair right now. This could be your significant other. This could be someone that you are communicating with and they may be incarcerated here, Virgos, okay? However, here for others of you all, this is just how this person had you feeling here for quite some time here, okay? You could have literally come up out of a uh, separation here from your spouse or a divorce here and now you're two having to co-parent here and figure things out. And for so long, this person may have tried to keep you trapped here when it comes to your children here. Because it's crazy how this card jumped out on top of this card here. Okay, so that's very significant for someone. Those guardian angels, ancestors of the highest light. What else for Virgo placements? Thank you. Wow, and then this card jumps over here again. We have the house card here. This is definitely involving a home situation here, a family situation here, a family that I'm hearing. I'm hearing broken home. So there is someone that is in a broken home or they feel like their home is broken. There could definitely be a separation or divorce here. Someone is not happy in their home. They're not happy with their family here. Okay. Wow. What else? There's definitely a home family matter situation here that needs to be addressed here. Wow. And then we have this card coming up in reverse. All right. So someone was expecting something here and it didn't meet their expectations here. All right. Because normally this card, when it's like this in the upright, something is going to meet your expectation. But I feel like for some of you all, this particular person or this ex-spouse here or whoever this is, they didn't meet your expectations here, Virgo, okay? This could be an ex-wife, an ex-husband here, all right? And they didn't meet your expectation here. They may always may you feel like you were trapped or you couldn't, you know, evolve. You couldn't grow when it comes to this family and in this home here, okay? Wow. 
What's at the bottom of the deck here, Virgos? Yeah, then we have main female. There could be a situation here with the main female because she does not look happy, honey. Okay, so there's definitely a situation here between a masculine and a feminine energy here. Or spouse here, a wife, a husband situation here where the love is no longer unrequited here. All right, so there's definitely a situation here where you two may be separating from each other here with the imprisonment card here. Okay, let's see how this particular person felt here in regards to this situation. Let's use the hidden truth oracle deck here. According to angels, how does this particular energy feel? Thank you. We have, I'm starting to understand our connection. Wow. So yeah, this person is starting to understand the connection here and how everything, you know, has transpired between you two. Okay. It's not a happy feeling here. I feel like my energy has went low. So this person may be sad, regret. They may be very disappointed right now. Okay. And they're not happy at this time. Wow. And it says, I want to feel I want to tell you how I feel. Yes, that's crazy because I just said I felt a, a sad energy here. And then I look at the bottom of the deck. This is, this is um, excuse me. I looked at the bottom of the deck. Okay, thank you, spirit. And this is the energy that I was feeling here. This is what I'm intuitively picking up in regards to your person's energy here, Virgos. Okay, so there is definitely a situation here. They may could have gotten some news about a situation here. Okay, someone may could have went to jail here. It could have been a situation in the home that caused a separation when it comes to the kids here. So you're going to angels asking for you to reach out for help here because something didn't meet someone's expectation here, okay? All right, and it could be having to do with this main female situation here. All right, so let's finish up here. Let's get the tarot deck out, and then we will close out with some word advice from your guardian angels and your ancestors. Definitely, again, if the reading is resonating with your spirit and your higher self, don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up. Show spirit some love. Again, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Subscribe, my loves, and be a part of family. And don't forget to click the notification bell. So that way you are notified when I do post your readings here on this platform every two days. And also when I go live, my love, you can come hang out. I pull a couple of tarot decks. We have fun and you're welcome to ask a love questions, okay? Let's see what card automatically jumped out here. Wow, we have the king of wands here. This is fire energy here. This is particular Leo energy here, okay? This card talks about taking actions, okay? So your guardian angels here, I feel, Virgos, are wanting you to take action. It's a situation here where you needed to move forward. You needed to do whatever you need to do here, it sounds like, here, and take action, okay? Because there is someone that definitely tried to keep you trapped or keep you held back. Okay, and now your guardian angels are stating here, it's time for you to take action. It's time for you to take back control of your life. That's what this free yourself card talked about. What else guardian angels, ancestors do we have for Virgo placements? Don't be coming down below if this is resonating for you, Virgos. What else guardian angels, ancestors of the highest light? Oh, thank you. Let's see what we have here. Wow, yeah, I'm hearing a lot of confusion. So this person is trying to confuse you, Virgos. They may have said one thing and it was another here. That's what I literally heard in my head. Someone is trying to confuse you or confuse the situation here. I mean, we do have the five of wands, which talks about conflicts, inner conflicts here as well. So they could be telling you one thing and then you're finding out a whole nother situation here. There could be more than one energy here involved, okay? There could be a situation, like I said, in regards to the family and the household here. There could be some drama, some things going on here behind scenes that you guys are not aware about. This could be in regards to your person, all right? Wow. Let's see what else came out here. Yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles here. This is your energy here. Like I said, some of y'all, this person could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius here. And then we have Earth energy here, okay? We have Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. But through all of this, there is some type of opportunity that the Most High, the universe, your guardian angels and ancestors here is gifting you. Through all this chaos, through all this drama here, I feel like you're being gifted an opportunity here because you stay focused. I feel like you, you made sure to, you know, do just the best you could do here, I feel, Virgos. And because of that, 
the most high is granting this offer to you. I feel like this is something that's also going to get you out of this situation when it comes to your kids. Some of y'all might get an opportunity here in regards to your career and your finances here that helps pick things up here, okay? Some of y'all could have been a financial issue here and you're getting some type of promotion, some type of job offer here, okay? This is something that's going to help out this situation here and I feel like it's going to help you be able to move forward here. Yeah, because at the bottom of the deck, wow, Virgos, we have everything is fine, aka the Ten of Swords, okay? So no more of this. No more people betraying you, hurting you, stabbing you in your back, doing things behind closed doors, lying to you. All that is done, Virgos. All that is over with here. And now you're going into this new beginning and your guardian angels have been watching you and protecting you the whole time from these particular people, these situations here in your past. All that is over with now, okay? And this is why these people here, this could be family members or your significant other, the ex here, all right, that's upset here, okay? So they could have been trying to start some drama and some confusion here because you've gotten this opportunity and you're deciding to move forward here, all right? Wow, Virgos. Okay, so let's finish up here. Let's get you some word advice from your guardian angels and ancestors here, source angels, ancestors of the highest light. What word advice can Virgo placements take away from this beautiful spread? <clears throat> I heard Taurus as well. Some of y'all, this person may be a Taurus or a Taurus placements in their chart. According to angels, what do we have here in regards to this spread here today? What word of advice can Virgo placements take away from this spread? Thank you. Yeah, we have get more information, Virgos, okay? So when it comes between you and this particular person here, your guardian angels want you to do your research, okay? There may be a situation here where you're needing to get some type of documents here or some information here, and your guardian angels want you to be prepared and get whatever documents or information that you're needing to do or take care of when it comes to this situation here, all right? Wow, Virgo. So this has completed your love reading. Again, I hope the reading has resonated for who it needed to resonate for. If so, again, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Again, if you have enjoyed the energies here, don't forget to click that join link down below. It gives you exclusive discounts on your personal readings, your email questions, and your love live stream questions when I go live, Virgos. Wow, congratulations for this new opportunity. Stay focused, follow your intuition, and definitely use your discernment, okay? I love you, Virgos. You take care. Bye-bye.